think we're left now. Okay, I think I'm a couple of minutes early, <laughs> but we're live now. And um, this one we're going to be first YouTube live I haven't done for ages. Last YouTube live, um, we're talking about probably three or four years ago. So uh, we decided to start doing more YouTube uh, content. And um, some of you probably met me before, some of you haven't. So this is the first time. And I'm very sorry about this messy background. I'm just home, I'm not um, at work. Um, so my name is Helen and nice to meet you all. Um, probably some of you will watch the replay later, but that's fine. Um, so the purpose of this um, workshop, uh, first we wanted to start creating some content on YouTube and also we've been doing some, um, so we're, we are doing like a regular, um, oh let me check, oh hi, <laughs> I can see the comments coming through, I'm very new to the YouTube um, uh, live, uh, normally we'll do the Facebook live uh, in our group every Sunday, so I'm quite um, familiar with that one. So all these buttons with YouTube, um, I'm very new, so I'll probably I'll click some wrong button later on, we'll see. And so we're going to have um, four days workshop. Um, is a way to say hello to everybody who follows us on YouTube and introduce myself, Helen and um, Missy Brandt. Uh, if you're already using Missy products, that's great. If you are new to Missy, also great because I'm going to introduce all the products to you and how to um, basically how to um, add the basic service into your salon. Um, we will cover a gel manicure and next week we'll cover the gel overlay and then we'll cover the gel extension and um, the last week we'll cover the popular flex press tapes. So um, in these four weeks we're going to co cover these four popular um, nail systems. Oh, all of a sudden I can see the comments popping through on my phone, not on um, the you know big screen. So I'll keep checking. But not all the comments popping out there. Uh, I think because I'm using it for um, the live. Oh, I told you I'm very new to this. <laughs> um, okay, so today, tonight, I wanted to cover, well, I don't know if you guys already received the email. Uh, what we're going to do is prep the natural nails and uh, gel manicure. I know it sounds very basic, um, but it is the foundation of every nail system. Um, we do get daily, daily message, um, people asking like, um, why is the nail, why can I not paint neat? Um, why is the joint doesn't last? Why is the chip? All the questions, I think a lot of time is down to the preparation. And so I think for the gel manicure tonight, not just for the painting, we were going to cover um, how to prep the nail properly as well. So you can have a um, neat um, background, like a flat, and smooth surface for you painting any gel products. Um, okay, um, I'm not sure if you got the email. If not, in the description of this video, well, uh, I've listed everything I'm gonna use tonight. So let me. It feels really weird because it's like it's not a portrait, it's like a landscape. I feel like I'm not looking at the camera, but I hope I'm look. I'm looking at the camera. So the products we're gonna need tonight um, is all the basic tools. So, because we're not doing any false nails, just um, uh, natural nail preparation, so we're going to need the 180 grit, 180 grit um, nail file and uh, a buffer. Um, if you don't have the buffer, it's all right. It just make make it a bit easier when you, when you have the buffer to buff the surface. But if you only have the 180 grit file, that's that's totally fine. Okay, and then you will definitely need your cuticle pusher. And we're going to use the cuticle remover and to do the preparation. So if you don't use e file, um, like you don't use the e file to prep the natural nails, remove the cuticles, and um, we are going to use the. I'm going to show you how to use the cuticle remover to remove um, the cuticle dry skin. Um, I am going to use the nipper cuticle nipper. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. Some of you are probably very scared of it and don't like it as. Totally fine. You don't have to use a nipper if you're not confident with it. Um, we don't really recommend you cut a lot because um, you don't want the wrong cut of the living tissue. We only literally just cut it off if it's like a um, dry skin hanging there. So I'm going to um, use that. Probably not not cutting a lot, a little bit. <laughs> I like to make it neat. Okay, and then um, 
I'm going to use, normally I just use a dust brush to remove the dust because we will want like a very clean surface. Um, but we do teach people how to, like when we're doing a course, we're going to teach um, students. And you can use acetone wipe to clean the surface. So I'm going to use that tonight. Um, with our gel remover, you can use it for a lot of places. Like you can use it for soaking off the gel. You can use it to wipe the oil or dust off your nail beds. You can use it to remove the sticky layer. So I'm going to introduce that tonight because next week we are going to use this um, for gel extension or oh, overlay. Sorry. Um, oh, hi. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm totally like I'm not trying to ignore your comments there. I can see a lot of names which I have met in the Facebook group already. Um, so maybe when you're watching the replay, there will be some, some new members here. <laughs> we did have uh, quite a few new uh, followers grow um, in the past year time on YouTube. Um, so we'll probably get some, some of you never met me before. <laughs> okay and we are going to use a function gel so if you if you don't use any super products don't worry you just need your base coat and top coat whatever function gel you use your nail system that gel system so we are going to use our function gel tonight i will um cover a little bit more later on when we're doing the demo and you just choose one of the colors you like um i'm just going to choose a classic red color so it's a red button tonight and after the treatment of course you need a cuticle oil also, you will need a lamp. Um, you can use a mini lamp or you can use a big lamp. So, if you're in the salon, obviously you want a big lamp so you can put a full hand in it. Um, but because I'm doing the demo on the phone, so I'm gonna flip flip the camera <laughs> onto the table later on. And um, the big lamp is just too big to fit under the you know the camera. So I'm just gonna use my mini lamp. But in salon, definitely use um, your big lamp to speed up your treatment. Um, for with a mini lamp, it's quite useful. Useful when we start doing, for example, like a nail art or flexor tape. So you need to flash kill it. So it's quite handy. But I'm just going to use that for the gel manicure tonight. Um, the setting is 45 seconds on the lamp. The big lamp you can do 30 seconds. So it depends on the lamp. Um, you cure the gel polish like 30, 45 seconds and the top coat 60 to two minutes, depends on your lap. I will cover a little bit more later. Okay, I think that's my introduction. <laughs> now I'm going to start doing the demo for tonight, um, prepping the natural nails and um, gel manicure, red colors tonight. Right, I'm gonna try to flick the camera. I hope it'll work, I hope it'll work. Sorry if I make it dizzy. Da, da, da. Oh, I, can, I think I can find the button to flip the camera. Okay, there we go. Just let me one minute so I can put that onto my table. For anyone just joining, you know what? I didn't even check. If you, can you guys hear me? <laughs> I've been talking like 10 minutes and uh, I don't even know if you can hear me. So put in a comment, let me know your name and where you're from and if you can hear me. This is my first YouTube live for about three or four years after all these new updates. So all these functions different, buttons different. From Portugal. Fab. Now I know if you can hear me. <laughs> it's very international, eh? Totally clear. Buzzing. Right. Let's get started. So don't worry if you're just joining or you're a few minutes late. Um, I Helen can hear you perfectly fabulous. Thanks, Linda. Um, all good. Thanks, Mark. Rachel. <laughs> I was like, thanks, Mark, and then you put Rachel. <laughs> okay, on my nails, it's not like the nail if you know what i mean like i do have a little bit of gel left and so normally i will leave a clear layer either just like a base coat top coat or something and i hardly remove or soak off everything on my natural nails because i do a lot of demos a lot of videos and lives and so i kind of touch 
my nails or redo my nails every single day. So if I soak them off, you can imagine <laughs> I will be over my natural nails. Um, so I do have a little bit clear layer left, but let's just treat it as a, just bare nails, yeah? We'll do everything same as we don't have any gel on, okay? But if you do a lot of nail demo, um, you're trying to uh, record videos or practice nails a lot uh, like me, you definitely want to leave a thin layer of clear gel on so don't soak everything off you try like when you remove the nails trying to buff the top off and then leave um a thin layer on. just so you don't over touch your natural nails um and then you'll end up have no nails left <laughs> okay first of all let's talk about prep the nails okay the tool we're gonna use the basic tool is going to be cuticle pusher. Oh, thanks for the thumb up. <laughs> I can just see the thumb up coming up, but I don't know when you guys clicked it, but it uh, might be a little bit delay on the you know, live stream as well. Okay. Let me know if you can see it clear. You know what? I feel like on, on, the, on this live, it looks really clear. I don't know if you guys can see really clear. Because compared to the Facebook Live, that's not HD, but on YouTube, it's definitely HD. Let me know, guys, because I might start doing more YouTube Live. <laughs> and, oh, yes, fabulous. You can see it really clear. Oh, my God, guys. I think I, fi I found this new line or something. Let me know if you prefer. I can move, I can literally do the live on YouTube, save it and post it to group because I can pre-create the link because the quality is so much better. So let me know. I might put, I might post, I make a post in the group later on. So for anyone you haven't joined our Facebook group, you definitely want to join it. It's called a Miss You Nail Support Group. So we have a lot of, we have a lovely community there. Um, Everybody share the work if you've got any problem. And some some of us, not necessarily from Miss You, like we're literally like our friendly customers will jump over help you as well. So everybody like friends there helping each other. So you definitely want to join now. And I do live there every Sunday. So now I'm thinking this looks really clear. So I might um somehow I might just to use the YouTube to do in the live and the link to Facebook. I'll figure out later. Um, sorry, <laughs> that's another topic. Okay, so before we start finding, removing, um, personal preference, I always use a cuticle pusher. Doesn't matter you're doing a new set or you're doing a infill, push the cuticle back because the cuticle will grow over the nail beds as well. I don't know if you, um, if you notice some cosmic cuticle will growing really really uh, low like you have to push a lot yeah it's like a folded there okay so you wanted to push all this skin back and when you when you hold the cuticle pusher you want to hold a 45 degree angle okay 45 degree angle you don't want to do it like that because then you're not going to push anything you don't want to dig it too much and then, then you'll hurt the customer okay um, hi Paula, um, missed the daily lives, I know, the um, lockdown time. <laughs> okay, so 45 degree angle, a lot of 45 degree angle when we're doing the nails, holding the files, you will notice later when I'm talking about it. So here, we push it back, okay. Sometimes I do find the um, beginner students, they will be scared of pushing the cuticle, um, that's probably cause the problem later on because you not pushed up the dry skin or cuticle back all the way. Okay, so how you know how hard you should push? Try on your own nails. You kind of getting the feeling like does it hurt? Does it um you know push too hard or not enough? Test on your own nails so you know the pressure. Okay, so we push it back. So don't worry about the cuticle there yet. We just literally push the cuticle back, kind of creates the surface, like bring out that whole nail bait. Uh, lockdown life and the workshops. Oh my God. It's a memory, guys. 
Has it been, not been two or three years now? I feel like that's yesterday. Okay, while well, I start pushing, you can already see some white bits coming out. But don't worry, we will cover that a bit more. Let's just create a little bit of surface, more surface there. If you want the gel manicure, you know, last three or four weeks, you really want to create that maximum space on the nail base. Otherwise, your gel polish will start painting from there. And then after about two weeks, the clients feel like, oh, the nails are already growing out, have a big gap. Okay. So the first step we will want to do is create that big surface. Depends on how you remove your cuticle. Um, if you like the dry cuticle remove technique, you can just use uh, this side of the cuticle push to kind of scrip, you know, scrip it out. But tonight we are going to actually use the cuticle remover. This is like remove the dry skin, kind of melt it. So instead of have the, you know, like a so soaking manicure, but you don't really need the water to soak. Give it five, 10 seconds. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not sure how many of you are actually practice tonight with me. <laughs> I know a lot of um, people message me saying, will there be um, replay after I think I can see a replay um there's an option on YouTube actually you can watch the replay love the cuticle remover Rachel says I need to remember that's not Mark <laughs> okay we put that on let it soak about 10 seconds okay and then we start scraping I don't really have much cuticle left now because I just literally removed my nails. And it's practice there. Always good to get back to basic. Love it. So I don't know if you can see all these white milky colors coming out. That's the dry skin and your cuticle being melted. I kind of scrape it on the, you know, on my extra skin as well this is very gentle to your skin you don't really feel like stinging or anything so this one without scraping it it's already start melting okay if you do prefer use the e-file that's totally fine you use the e-file to do your preparation but the undergo is oh my god can you see all these <laughs> I said I don't have cuticle left, but still got a bit left. If you don't have gel left over the nail beds, like the uh, natural nails, you rub it all over the natural nails because you will have some uh, cuticle been growing on the natural nails you want to remove. You'll be surprised how much um, dry skin cuticle left over on the nail beds. Okay. So these ones soak a little bit longer. You can see they're already peeling off. There we go. Okay, so now you can choose. I have these um, wipes, like linked free wipes. I'm just gonna get a little bit. So I have these like a linked free wipes. You can just give your wipe. But don't worry too much. Uh, we are still going to do the fining. So they are going to be removed after. Right. 
So this step, we're trying to get... Oh, it's a bit blurry. Can I focus? Focus? <laughs> Does it like an autofocus or something? Okay, next step. If you can see a lot of like dry skin hanging there, you want to give it a nip, that's fine. But what you don't want to do is press down really hard and pinch the whole meat off. <laughs> you just want to rest this cute nipper gently, gently on your skin. So if it doesn't have anything, you can't really cut anything off, yeah? You just want to gently pinch it. You don't want, you don't want to do that. That's no, no, no. Okay, so we're going to go around to see if I have any. Okay, especially after using the um, cuticle remover. It's getting a little bit soft. And if you can see any clear part, you can nip that. I don't know how much you can see. That's what I've nipped off there. Yeah, sometimes I got a big chunk, um, but because I removed the nails yesterday, so it's not much. Okay, so that's the first, second, how many steps we have now? <laughs> right, next, we are going to remove the shine of uh, the natural nails. You can start straight away with your 180 grit file. You can just start like fining the natural nail beds. However, it takes a bit longer because it's hard, like quite hard. You got to, to you know, do a lot of angle. So I'm gonna just use the 180. So the buffer, one side is 100 grits, one side is 180 grits. You, if it's a new one, use 180. But if you have been using this buffer for ages, so the 100 grit side is not rough already, you can use that side as well. But this one's still quite new, so we're gonna use the 180 side. Because it's a sponge, so when you press it down, kind of cover bigger area. That means it's quicker. What I'm gonna do is, use the buffer we are going to still going to use a file but we're going to use the buffer to cover most of the surface you don't want to see any shine at all no shine at all okay. so using the buffer to cover the most area keep moving keep moving twisting Depends on how you hold the file. And let me hold that now. Cover area. And when I file back towards myself, I hold it this way. So that way. And then change to this way. So now we are just to cover the big area. If you're holding client's hand, you want it to push the skin down on the side. Okay, now let's brush off the dust. Now we're going to use 180 grit file. So this is where most people are getting wrong. Not file above of like near the side can you see it's still a little bit of shine all the way around because when you're doing the fan you're not getting down to the side enough okay then where the shine is the base coat won't bound won't bound properly then if the base coat doesn't bound properly sometimes it'll go neat or go wobbly when you paint the because it's clear it's hard to see but then when you start painting the gel polish the color the color won't go on smoothly or, you know, neat. And you wonder why the color is not going on smoothly and, and neat, you know. That's because the base coat hasn't been painting on um, nice and smooth and neat. But why is it that? Because when we're doing the um, buff the surface, we've not covered every single bit. So to make sure to avoid that, <laughs> I should say, we use the end of the file where the where the round side is, we hold it like holding a pen. So you're holding like, you're holding pen writing. Yeah? And then use a little finger and depends if you're holding customer hand, then you're gonna rest it on customer's hand like that. 
if you're doing it on, you rest your little finger. The purpose is we can move this two finger to hold the file, like, you know, a bit flexible, we can move forward, backwards and side. Okay. And then we're going to push the cuticle back, push the skin back like that. Okay. Push it back when we're fighting. We wanted to dig the file, like use it as like a cuticle pusher. Remember, we're talking about that 45 degree angle. Push it. Can you see I push the skin away? And then you want edge properly on the side. Yeah? On the side. You don't want any shine. To the corner, again, push the skin away and then file. Push your skin away and then file. The purpose is you don't want to see any shine. Do we get this part? Does it make sense to you? To the sides. And then we're going to use the side, side of the file. That 45 degree coming back again. This is the same way when you're blending um, your false nails later on. So same way you lift your file up, push the cuticle away. So the side looks like that. So it's not flat, it's not straight, it's that 45 degree angle. You push the skin away. Okay. Push it again. And then the little corner, if you can't get it, hold it like a pen, really make sure. Okay, so this is the first part we, we wanted to cover uh, all the way around. The second part, if you want to stop the gel polish lifting or chipping, you got to file the free edge, okay? You got to rough a little bit because the free edge is kind of like, you know, like a nice and smooth. Um, if you feel like oh, it's not scratching, that's because we're using the nails and the kind of like smooth it during you know, the daily life. <laughs> so we do want to kind of rough that edge so the base coat will bonding on it then the collar will bang down there, then top coat. So you stop the nail chipping. But you don't. what you don't want to do is finding like that left and right. You just want to file one direction. You can go back that way. That's fine, you can file like that. Just don't go like that, because that will cause lifting of the natural nail beds. Like, because um, the nails have loads of layers, you'll make the nails like have loads of layer. And then once that layer, stop peeling the gel on the top will peel with it so that's two important thing to make sure the gel will stay on creates a nice smooth base no shine at all everything covered okay and the second is we want to file the free edge so same as all the nails same Then really trying to dig into the sides by the free edge. Because sometimes if the customer doesn't have free edge at all, like a nail biter, and then the nails down to there, then I understand you can't really um file the free edge or seal it but then the nail is not going to last that long. You got to let them have a few treatments, explain to them, let the natural nail bed start growing out. You want that little bit of free edge so you can cap the jar, okay? Okay, next one. So, if you're not practicing, <laughs> if you've got hand to type, let me know in the comments. Does that make sense? Right. Is this something you find is difficult? And if you're watching replay, it doesn't matter, you can leave the comments as well. I will come back and read the comments. Okay. Getting 
in that corner. Next one. Also, when we file, like when we file the edge, um, so around the cuticle, you kind of remove the leftover cuticle again. So push, file, push, file. I think every time we're talking about back to basic, prop the nail is the most important part. Because if we fail this step, then you know anything added on the top is not gonna be look nice. Covered all this shiny bit. <laughs> okay, that's what we've done for prop the nails. And now, when we brush off the dust, we need to have a look. Can you see that little bit dry skin over there sticking out? If the gel accidentally touch down it it's not going to be neat it's going to cause the lifting so i'm kind of just going to nip that okay go back to check maybe that's a little bit there So it depends on if you just prefer use the dust brush to dust off or you prefer to use one of the remover sashes to give it a good wipe. I'll actually use a wipe today just so I can show you. Okay, or we'll wipe on the corner. Getting rid of all the dust in the corner. Okay, so these nails are ready for the gel polish. Do we have any questions for this part? If you do, you can either leave in the comments or you prefer email us later on, that's fine. Get rid of the dust so nails are ready for the base coat base coat is always the first products to put um, um with mystery gel we don't use any uh, primer or any dehydrate or bonder um we just use a base coat it contains everything already one step less <laughs> okay small amount you don't want a lot we just do a thin coat okay when we're painting the gel, doesn't matter the base coat, color, or top coat. It's the same method. You can scrape a little bit extra off on the nail bed, so you know there's like a gel to work around. But you never want to start from the end where near the cuticle, yeah, because kind of you're thinking, oh, I can guess where it is. But actually, when you put it down, you kind of touch on the skin. Very easy to touch on the skin. Okay, so what we're doing is start before the cuticle line and then we slowly 
push the gel towards back, you know, towards to the cuticle. So you kind of use the brush to move the gel and then just stay there for a few seconds and then let the gel work for you. It is clear, so it's hard to see. When we paint, start painting the red gel polish, it'll be easier to see. Okay, and then brush over. Okay, so we don't start from where we want the gel stay. We start before and push gel back. Stay there a few seconds and then brush towards the uh, free edge. And then for the corner, obviously you don't want to do that because um the brush will stick onto the skin so we're going to use the corner of the brush so every single layer is the same method yeah we'll use the corner twist the brush on the side okay we'll start from there and you use the corner so this corner to go all the way around the side you want to paint quite slowly. If you do really hard, sometimes the base coat doesn't grab on the natural nails properly. Okay, so this side, we're going to use this corner of the brush. Put skin away. Okay. Always use a little finger to rest on some somewhere, either on your nails or client's nails. Okay, we want to make sure it's all nice and smooth, not on the skin. If you're on the skin, quickly remove it. Okay, and then now we're going to do the very important part, cap the free edge. Remember, we filed and um, roughed the edge of the free edge. So this is where we need it now. So now imagine the base coat is like a hook. So this is the nail base and this is the base coat. It's like hooked on, yeah? So you got like a protection there, not just on the top. Because on the top, I start peeling. But if you hook on on the edge, it's less chance to peel, yeah? So that's why we're doing that. If you're not very confident um, painting all five fingers, you're scared to smudge it, you can just quickly flash cube. Just quickly flash kill it, so lock the gel, so the gel is not moving. Okay, we'll fully kill it after, don't worry. So again, scrape one bead off. Start before where you want to stay and push it back. Kind of pull the skin away. Stay there and then brush over, okay? Use a corner, corner of the brush, slowly. This is what you want to do, slowly. In that corner, push the skin away. If you prefer using a um, small brush, like nail art brush, go around the corner, that's totally fine which we will use that for our brush to build a jar. Okay, remember that little hook? <laughs> hook onto the nail base. Let's do seal the free edge. Okay. So flash kill. Push it back. Stay there a few seconds. And brush over. Side. Okay, seal the free edge. Then this side. Okay. 
Okay, make sure there's no gel leaks onto your skin. So I'm hoping to see some pictures later on in the group. <laughs> I want to see how you guys feel. Because normally we'll just do extensions, overlays. Because the gel manicure and the uh, natural oil prop is like a first class what we do. So we don't really spend the time um talking about talking about it a lot. So this is a good chance at explaining all the details. Okay, now we're gonna cure the full hand. 30 to 45 seconds. Um, the mini lamp setting is 45 seconds. So I'm just gonna kind of hold it. If you can do it that way and just carry the thumb separately. Okay. <laughs> or I can just put the hand under the big lamp for 30 seconds. Dun, 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 dun. Sometimes with the mini lamp to fresh, uh, fresh, <laughs> flash cure the builder gel, um, or flash cure any gel. Sometimes it's good because the water is not as high, so it kind of give you that slow, slow cook. I was gonna say, um, slow queuing option. So the customer doesn't really feel that heat spike if they have a very sensitive, um, um sensitive nail base and skin. Yeah. Okay, so ne next, you can just paint the gel polish color on now. Norm but normally, I would recommend to use a strengthener um, on top of your base coat. To so strengthener is like a um, light version of the builder gel. It's, it's not for extension. It's not as hard as the builder gel or sculpting gel. So you cannot do like um, sculpting gel now and it's lighter, but it does give you that um, bit builder gel overlay kind of result. So the reason why I put the strengthener up before the color is to create that clear layer. First to um, strengthen the nail. So if the customer have a very bendy nail base, the strengthener will make the gel manicure last longer. And so it's not less bendy. And the second, because I don't really soak the gel off, um, I normally file the collar off. So there is a clear layer there. I know when I file the collar off, um, I'm not directly filing on the natural nails. Yeah, so it's like a protection. But with the strengthener, you can actually apply two to three layers, right? Before the gel polish collar. And the result is the same as overlay with the collar. So if you do provide that service in a salon, make sure you charge a bit extra with the strengthener, like two or three layer. I know a lot of salons use the strengthener. They charge extra five pound um, for the gel manicure. Okay. Again, we want to see your edge. Obviously, the strength, the the reason we use the strength in the hair is kind of create that um, overlay effect for gel manicure. But we can also use the strength in there for attaching the flexor tips, and then we will cover that in the last week. I'm I'm not sure if you guys comment anything. Um, I can't see any comments from my phone again. Um, so I need to check. <laughs> I'm gonna check on the computer later. Um, let me just finish painting this and then I can have a look if I can see the comments. Sometimes on the Facebook live, the comments were just totally unsure for some reason. 
try and make sure that's clear as well because I'm talking a lot I might take a bit of time I don't want it to leak on the skin uh, oh Rachel says uh, my clients really like the strengthener I literally cannot live without the strengthener <laughs> So same way, same way. Sometimes if if your customer has a damaged the nails or bumpy nail beds, strengthener is a good way to smooth and rebalance the natural nails as well. Um, because it's self-leveling, so you'll fill up all the bumps and gaps, ridges and the nail beds. All we want to do here is create a nice clean surface so we can paint base coat and a color. So we'll use exactly the same method to paint this layer. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick the hand into the big lamp because it's quicker. So it's optional, you can have one layer on or two layer on. Um, I used to put like two layer. So one layer base coat, two layer of strengthener and a two layer of color and then top coat um, as the overlay service. So instead of using the um, builder gel to do the overlay, I like you don't need to wipe and buff it. Um, if you use a clear builder gel, you got to wipe the sticky layer off and give it a buff before you're painting, you know, the color. But with the strengthener, you can use the gel polish directly on top of the strengthener now. So again, save you um, clean the gel and wipe and buff that time. Oh, hi, Marisha. I'm great. How are you? Have you just finished work late? <laughs> okay. So next, we're going to paint the color now. Again, you don't really want to paint a thick layer. So let's do a thin layer. I normally wipe off the gel on half of the brush, half of brush, on one side of the brush, not half of the brush. Okay, keep the gel and on one side and then keep another side clean. So the same method, same way. Scrape a bit off on the bigger nails, like on the small nails, you probably don't need it. Okay, now you can see a bit better. We will dip the brush into the collar, not all the way there, just kind of there. So you've got something to push it back. Yeah, there, and then push it back and then leave your brush a few seconds. Can you see the gel start smoothing around itself? Okay, instead of you painting it straight. Push the gel back, we'll leave it there, and then you brush over, okay? And then we'll use the corner of the brush. Right there. And then another corner. Oh, finger's not long enough. So go back a few times, there we go. Don't forget the free edge. So I've got a little bit of color on my skin, quick, remove it, get my wipes. Okay. And then we can give it flash cure or you keep painting. Let's just give it flash cure so I'm not smudging anything. Um. Have a lovely glatch uh, you doing good what color this color is um red buttons so this one this is the color way putting the student kits as well because normally when you do the course you will need um that color like a red and then we'll have a light color um which is like a pink and and then we're painting a french so normally this is i don't know why like we always have to learn painting red nails <laughs> Apparently, it's the most difficult color. I don't know. I found I found there's other colors that are more difficult, but <laughs> let's keep the tradition. <laughs> okay, 
one bead again we start there push the gel back let the gel work for you and brush it back okay corner of the brush okay and this corner of the brush And then seal the edge. Remember that hook. So for anyone just joining in or join the later on, when you watch the replay, you know what I mean. Think because if you make a mistake and how to correct, yeah, good point. Because red is like an orange. Actually, orange is not too bad with a gel polish. Yeah, red to give you that. Uh, sting, sting, sting. <laughs> Black as well. Or oh, dark blue. <laughs> okay. So we, we have to be perfect that way. Push it back. And brush over. Whew! Da, da, da. Side. So use a corner of the brush. This is why you don't want a lot of gel on your brush. So imagine now if the nail bed is not smooth and the cuticle is sticky everywhere, well, pointing out everywhere, that gel when you paint out, it will definitely touch the dry skin or cuticle, um, dry cuticle. Then you will have a bumpy surface. So next time, <laughs> if I get anyone ask me, how can you paint in a nail? <laughs> Meet, I'm just gonna send this video. So let me know if I haven't covered anything you think is important. Like I missed it and you find it's tricky when you're painting a gel polish. So the method I mentioned, do you think that can solve your problem and help you? Or you think you tried it but still struggle? So I can explain a little bit more. Edge. Oh my god, red sting. Um, the skin. <laughs> Get it off quick. Red, black, and white. Oh my god, white is not actually bad. <laughs> okay, push it back, push that back, stay there, brush over. Sides. And see the edge. First layer, let's cure it. It's quite nice already, first layer. But we are going to do two layers to make it last better. Okay, so same 30 to 45 seconds. Um, it's available to watch back. Yes, <laughs> I figured out today because uh, I wasn't sure before because the um, YouTube live has changed a lot since last time I've done it. Um, and I found where to find the replay video, replay live video. Um, so yes, sometimes I only do one layer and it's okay. Um, that, that's great. <laughs> I mean, it's really good coverage. Um, if you feel like one layer is good enough, that's fine. Especially when you're doing, say, French, and you want that see-through, like a jelly color pink, see-through pink. You don't want that too dark. You can just do one layer. Okay. But let's do two layers, because I'm going to keep this video. 
as my um, one of the teaching videos in the future. I'm so glad I've done this, guys. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Okay. So this is actually all my secrets today. Yeah, <laughs> how to paint neat gel manicure. Literally, that's all I did when when I was working in the salon. You don't have to do this every time just because when I do my own nails, I always smudge it. So I'm doing a little bit of flash kill. And remember wipe the gel polish off the brush on the one side. Yeah, so it only keep the reason why you don't want the gel polish on that side is because it's gonna be too much gel when you start painting. That side of the gel will start touching on the skin. Back. And then you don't want too much gel because then when you start painting, most of gel will um, drop on the side. And when you start curing it, the sides, it will start getting bubble or peel off because it's getting thicker there. So sometimes I have to wipe the gel off even more. I can wipe it off from the brush even more. Especially when you use a new bottle. You will have a lot of products on the brush. I actually prefer the bottle is like a half full, half empty. Just the right amount of um, gel on the brush. Okay, always smudge them too. The second card is always a bit quicker. Because you always already have that guideline, like where the color you want to go from the first coat. Okay. Let's fully kill it. Oh, we actually match my toenails now. <laughs> but I will change it um, to the glitter colour. Um, going away next weekend. So that will be my holiday nails. I need some sparkle. Right, now I'll fully kill it. 30 to 45 seconds are good. Depends on your lamp. last but not least <laughs> top coat so it just needs to seal everything um when you're painting the top coat right after you covered you know the, the middle the side and um free edge i do recommend you go back brush a few times because it's clear, sometimes it's hard to see if it's actually covered the full nail. Yeah, it's very easy to just miss a little bit and you didn't even realize it. So we'll do the same. Cover the middle, the side, okay. Um, the free edge and I'll go back and brush a few times, okay. To make sure it's all covered. 
Let me just quickly flash kill it. When you're doing a flash kill, it's another way to um, stop trying to prevent people like touch touch a nail on the big lamp when the you know when the cosmic put the hands inside of the big lamp. Sometimes they'll be like, oh, touch that, and then if they didn't tell you and they killed it under the lamp, you're gonna end up um, have to file it under painting again. So. I have the flash kill is actually sometimes good if you know that customer might have a chance to um, smudge it before even cured. So let's brush a few times. There we go. Top cut is quite quick. Now we're going to kill it 60 seconds. If you under peel UV lamp, each layer needs to be two minutes. Yeah. If it's a peel UV lamp, each layer, two minutes. Love that color. And you, you know, that's the color I have on my toe, not my toes, whole year round, just red all the time. <laughs> I try the different colors um, on my toes and then I always going back to the red. One reason, because I'm lazy, I'm kind of just paint over where it's been growing out. Um, the second, I feel like it goes with any um, open toe shoes, like just match everything. Okay, that's cured. So once it's cured, Try not to apply cuticle oil all over on the, you know, the top coat because it's still quite, it's still warm. Um, and if you rub the cuticle oil in, it will take that shine bits off. So let it cool down a bit because it's still warm. Okay. And then when we apply the cuticle oil, because this is one um, big mistake I used to do when I started doing nails. I kind of just like kind of, Put it all, all over the nail. You don't want to do that. You just want to kind of, you know, doing back, doing that. Let's the top coat cool down before you rub anything on the top. Here you go. That's the... What is cut? Gel manicure we've done. Right, I'm going to try to see if I can switch my camera back. Dun, dun, dun. I'm back. With my big face. Dun, dun, dun. What am I tying up? The anchor's not right. Oh my god, have I made it even loose now? Um, there we go. <laughs> Struggle with a tripod. Oh my god, look at the double chin. <laughs> oh, glad that you guys know me. Now I'm crazy. For any new followers, new viewers, I'm the crazy Helen. Okay, but I actually did a little bit of makeup and changed the top for me to do in the live. So I thought it's not going to be too scruffy because I'm going to um, save the live. And the background is always already messy but hey it's a uh, real me um yeah so that's what we've done today i've got overlay on this hand actually and the one red i actually really like the red i think i, I do suit red so i hope i hope you enjoyed today's video today's video today's live and um, so we covered how to prep the natural nails and how to paint um gel polish needs and make it last three to four weeks 
maybe four weeks, not four weeks, so maybe three weeks on me because my nail is growing really fast. But I do know some customers, the nails don't grow out fast. Um, I used to have um, some of the customers that only have the um, nail read down every four weeks because the nails don't grow too fast. But if you wanted to offer that three to four weeks gel manicure, this is exactly what you need to do. Make sure the preparation is spot on. No dry skin, no cuticle, not like, um, you know, um, the shine's not covered and that kind of thing. But when you watch the replay, you'll know, I mean, replay, you'll know all the points I mentioned, how to hold the file, how to get rid of the shine in the corner, every single bit. So I think that's what we covered today. And how to hold a brush, how, to, how much gel to put it on the brush, <laughs> how much is a fair price for a manicure it really depends on your area nice color on your t-shirt thank you <laughs> um for the gel manicure around the around the uk literally the price is so different um i know as cheap as 10 pounds someone charging or going up to 45 pounds some places are charging so really depends on um i kind of talk about in on the live in our facebook group facebook group before and the price you charge this depends on a few things and the first is the markets like your area so gets like the price list from a few salons around you gets the average price and the second is your skill um you know when your skill is getting better you should put your price gradually like 10 percent up every year so it depends on your scale your availability that's another thing if you're so busy you um you know you don't really have time to fix new customer in of course you're going to put your price up a little bit um above that average price because your scale is better your availability is lower so your price is higher however if you're thinking i don't even have any clients this week i want to do a special offer that's Again, totally fine. I know there's a big, I, I won't say like, um, it's not argument. It's just um, and a lot of nail technicians are chatting about and talking about you shouldn't put your price low, shouldn't, shouldn't do a free. All I'm saying is I have done really low price before when I started. I offer free mock doing price, free trial, um, two for one any kind of a price or offers I do because I have to do what I need to do to get the customer in. You know, if I'm just starting from new, no, when I move to the city, well, move to where I live now because my husband's from here, I didn't know anyone, I didn't have friends here, no family here, no clients here. I need to start from scratch and I newly qualified that time. So that time I have to do something to get the customer in. But like I said, when your availability is going lower and your skill is going higher and the more people wanted to book with you then you put your price up so it's very hard to say what price you should charge so uh, if you wanted to talk about a bit more like if you're not sure um we can you can just inbox me and then i can have a look like say your location and if you know the average price the song near you what they charge how busy are they um you know that kind of thing so we can talk about that um, offer says um, £15 to £20, yes. So it's very different. Like I said, the upsell is very important. When you're doing a basic um, gel manicure, you can get surprised quite a lot to get people in. However, the upsell bit is going to be your overlay. So for example, you put a layer or two layer of strength in it on or do a little bit overlay with the builder gel to make it last longer. Then you can say, oh, this is an extra £5 to you know protect your natural nails and uh, make it last longer and then because your nails are quite bendy you want to make sure it's not bendy you know that kind of thing and um, upsell that five pound uh, again nail art is a big thing for me um i think my whole business started from the love of the nail art i have to say that um when i started my nail salon well i didn't even have a salon at that time start doing mobile and um um I rent in a room in the hairdresser so you know i'll start from um very basic um the, the one thing's different is i offer quite a lot of nail art um rather than just a white tip that time you're talking about 
12, 13 years ago, my God, <laughs> long time ago, um, all the shops that offer is the white tape and they put a clear uh, acrylic over it. That's a lot of salon off at that time. So I probably was the only one in this area off a nail art. But I have to say my nail art was awful that time. I had to look <laughs> my old pictures. Uh, you know, I was just like, I'm just, I love nail art. I want to offer it, but really, um, after the practice, you will see that time I'm really proud of it. But when you're looking back to the, the picture before, you were like, oh my God, they're awful. But that's something for the upsell. At the beginning, I offer all free um, nail art just because I wanted to get the portfolio, get a picture, so other people will know I am doing the nail art rather than just the plain nails. So kind of different from other solo. You got to have your own kind of uh, specialized side. Um, either just the painting really needs you know, gel manicure or doing some fancy design or extreme long nails, whatever you feel you like. You got to put that into your service and put it on your portfolio to show you. Because, say for example, if I just keep doing plain gel manicure, French tapes, I will feel really bored. Like it's not gonna be, it's not gonna excite me doing nails. Um, so I have to do something like a nail art to, even though it's not making money. If it's not making money, still keep me happy. Wanted to keep doing the nails. That, that's good. <laughs> um, so I was with clients. Um, oh, don't worry. Um, the, uh, I think it's a live recorded. So once I finish the live, uh, you can watch from beginning. Um, and um, yeah, um, don't worry about that. Um, put them on the Facebook page. Sorry, Rachel, what have I missed? What do you mean put them on the Facebook page? Um, you mean this video? I think I already shared the link on the Facebook. So um, unless you meant something different. Okay, right, I'm just going to pack up now. Um, next week, same time, next Wednesday, um, seven o'clock. So now I know how to set up the schedule, um, the live schedule on Facebook, Facebook, sorry, YouTube. Now I can set up the schedule, get all the links ready and I can share that. Your nail picture of nail art. Oh my God. Um, if I can find them, uh, it's not on this phone an uh, anymore, but it's just like, you know, the Facebook um, memory keep popping out <laughs> sometimes. So I was like, oh. Oh my God, or my customer actually will tag me into the picture of the nails I've done for them, like I say, 15 years ago. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I will have, I have a look, see if I can dig them out on Facebook. But uh, some pictures, uh, yeah, they, they are <laughs> not good. The nails are that wide and um, anyway, we all feel like, oh, that was awesome. So nice at that time, but different story now. Um, okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it and um, nice to meet you all if you haven't met me before. Um, so this week on Sunday, I will keep doing the live on Facebook group. Um, I will see in the future if we get some better feedback on um, YouTube because it's more clear, more HD. And I will start considering swapping over, like a change over to um youtube instead of facebook but i will still link it um but this week this sunday we'll still carry on doing the live in the facebook group if you haven't joined our group yet it's miss you nails support group so if you search miss you now is a kind of like you know they're all popping out um um facebook and also we do send out the reminder emails and every Sunday, half an hour before i start doing live that's eight o'clock um uk time eight o'clock on sunday night Right, I'm gonna finish this live and then you guys can watch from the beginning if you missed the beginning, okay? Right, now I need to find the bottom how do I <laughs> enter the live. Might take me a few minutes. Right, see you next week on YouTube again, next Wednesday um, for gel overlay and a French. Oh my God, that's just for French manicure next week, next Wednesday. Right, bye.